it is safe to assume the upcoming Kamal is a subcompact crossover which will be aimed directly at the likes of the Audi Q3 and the upcoming crossover from BMW. Even though the details are still scarce, most reports are saying that the Kamal will be based on the same platform as the Stelvio. This is a rear-wheel drive architecture which is quite interesting to see. So far there haven't been any official reports, but if this ends up to be true, then the Kamal will be one of a kind. The release date is still unknown, but it looks like the car may be revealed in 2018 with its availability starting in early 2019. The price is an unknown factor for now, but it should be quite a bit cheaper than the Stelvio. Some reports were saying the car was going to start at less than $30,000 which would make it a steal. Considering the competition though, it is more than likely for it to cost closer to $35,000. Thanks to being based on a rear-wheel drive platform, the 2020 Alfa Romeo Kamal is more than likely going to inherit the proportions from its more expensive siblings. Unlike many other cars at this price point, the Kamal should receive a longer-than-usual front end with an aggressive styling. The car is expected to get roughly the same type of bumper and grille as the larger Stelvio. However, the headlights will be all new, and unlike the Stelvio, the Kamal is actually expected to boast a completely different design scheme with a far more angular look. This should allow it to be better suited for this price point where people are looking for more than just looks. The squared off look would allow more space inside the cabin and also a more aggressive presence on the road which is not really the case with its bigger sibling. Even though the 2020 Alfa Romeo Kamal will be a relatively entry-level car, it won't be cheap. Thanks to that the car will feature a far better interior than most other vehicles on the market. For starters, the interior is likely going to inherit the overall layout from the sedan with the nicely integrated infotainment system and the driver-oriented instruments. On top of that, there will actually be more available space for passengers than in the Giulia, and its trunk should be larger as well. The only real drawback over its bigger siblings will be the available features. Things like a head-up display or even a part-autonomous system are going to be missing. Engine Thanks to its platform, the 2020 Alfa Romeo Kamal will be available with either rear or all-wheel drive. In any case, the car will have a rear wheels bias, so it will definitely drive better than most cars out there. In terms of engines, unlike the more expensive cars, the Kamala will only be offered with four-cylinder engines. Even though this has yet to be confirmed, it looks like the base model might receive a 150 to 180 horsepower 1.4 to 1.6 liter turbocharged engine which will be mated either to a 6-speed manual or an 8-speed automatic. The higher-end models will make use of a 2.0-liter unit offering as much as 290 horsepower which should be more than enough to become one of the fastest cars in its class. 